Thank you so much for staying with us here on the Sportsmax Zone. We turn our attention back to football. Well, the Phoenix All-Stars, led by Craig Butler, will, from May 1st through to the 7th, host an international football showcase. It will feature players in the under-17 and under-21 age groups and is set to attract top executives from clubs across Europe. Here to share more about this initiative is the man at the helm, Craig Butler. Welcome to the Sports Max Zone. Good to have you. Thank you, Mariah. It's always a pleasure being here with you. Yeah, so let's start, Craig, by talking about this football showcase. It's a big deal, but for our viewers, of course, our show is um, international, and they're not aware as to what happens with the academy and what will take place at this international football showcase. Tell us a bit about it. Well, a part of the problem is that whenever players go on trial, they go for a week or two weeks and the, the adaptation, um, the language, the cold, etc., and the fact that they don't play the same system um, affects them okay. and they usually fail. So one of the things that we have done at Phoenix is we either go and play as a unit versus the big clubs across Europe so they can see us in our own environment. Right or we now bring them to us. And one of the things that we've been able to do is to harness the, the high-level executives. Wow. So it's the owner or the technical director, not a scout that's coming. It's somebody that can write a check today. You know, and that's one of the things we're happy for. We have Hammerby coming, we have AIK, uh, we have, I can't even pronounce the word that goes, <laughs> Bolt's S Souls Bowl Club yeah. or something like that, right? Mm. And, um, and we have some of the biggest agents also coming. You know, one of the agents are the, is the biggest agent in Denmark. So what we want to do, we have players in England, we have players in Belgium, Germany, but we also want to get at the highest level in Scandinavia and other parts of Europe, Spain, etc. So we're bringing them here. We're going to play against the U21s right. of some of the, the better um, Premier League teams. And, of course, with our, our Phoenix players that have been training all year round. So it's open to other clubs? Like, you will invite other clubs to play as well? Yes. Yeah, so, for example, we invited Harborview. We invited okay. Waterhouse. We invited Arnett Gardens. We invited Mullines and, and such, right? And we also have invited some of the academies at the under-17 level. Okay. So we're giving other, other, other um, football entities an opportunity to be seen, you know? It doesn't make sense that um, um, Joseph goes and becomes um, Farah's right hand and then not help his people, you know, yeah. so. And Craig, you know, you say that, and I'll piggyback off of that comment and ask you, why do you think personally it's so important that one, you give back via this international football showcase, and why do you see the need to, of course, bring these people across here to Jamaica? You've been known for, of course, spotting Leon Bailey, um, Whisper, and those are just two names um, among the numerous people that you were able to pinpoint. Why do you see the need to continuously do this and, of course, develop the football? Well, the thing is, they didn't pinpoint them. We built them. Right. Okay. Built. Sorry. <laughs> From scratch, because <laughs> most of the players, when we get them, we don't get them as as. as no, but when I say pinpoint, players, I yeah. mean you spotted them and you worked with them. Not many people are willing to do that, though. Right. It's true. Most people want to cream the top. Exactly. An agent comes in and he wants to the best. get the best, and he runs off. Um, for me, I try my best to to develop, to earn my right, and um, earn it every day. And I think that it's important as a country. You know, I believe in Jamaica, and I believe in Jamaican's footballs. You know, I, I believe in the, the, the quality of our players, the genetics, the speed, and I believe that if we co develop our players locally, sustain development, not three months or even six months, yeah. but continuously, we will get the best. And it's showing. We have three players now at Aston Villa that they love, and yeah. they just finished the money cup. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, Craig, I, I would... And none of them is Leon Bailey. Okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I would suspect, too, that... Um, and who are these three players, just 
for the record. Dante Peralta, yes. the captain of Mona. Yes. Um, Robinho Garden, it is the centre back. Yes. All man in centre back and on the 20 centre back. And of course, the effervescent Denzel, <laughs> little Ted Mackenzie. <laughs> so they're, they're in England now. They yeah. went to um, Salford City. Um, Salford City is ready to make an offer with Dante already. Um, and Theo went to Brentford. And now um, it is joined them. And they're all now at Aston Villa. And they're very impressed. They had a very good conversation today with Matt Kidson, the person in charge of regional um, recruitment. And he loves them. You know, the images you see of, are of them there. So we don't talk it, we walk it. <laughs> I, I want to make the point, too, that judging from, I know you have two categories, under 17 and under 21. And uh, I get the feeling that given the, 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 the nature of a project like this, maybe the under 17s would probably excite you a little bit more even than the under 21s. Well, the thing is this, you can't buy at under 17. You know, you can only see. So we're showing them what's there yes. for the future, yes. you know. With the under 21s, they can sign them right away. And that's what I want. I want them. I, we have players we have developed, not just from Jamaica, but from all over. Trinidad. Oh, nice. All over the Caribbean that are at Phoenix, also from Canada, America, that are at Phoenix. And we've developed them to a point now where we have really top-level players at 18, 19 years old, ready to make the jump. So come look, see them if you want. Let's move. Yeah. And if you say a, a half of you play or a Arnett player that is good enough, why not? Jamaica come first, eh? Yeah. I, I wanted to make that point as well because I suspect that the, the local clubs that will be a part of this uh, showcase would probably try to ensure that they get some of their teenagers into their squads to, to put them in line for, for, for these, these executives that will be looking on as well. Yes, I've asked that when they, they bring the teams, that the teams have a high level of 22 maximum. Yes. Because they, 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 especially these clubs, they're selling clubs. So they want to take a player into, for example, Hammerby, and have him there for six months to a year and then move him on to a bigger club and make a good transfer. It's the business of football, you know. Leon went from Genk to Leverkusen, from Leverkusen to Aston Villa. And it's important that you create that, 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 that pathway. pathway for all players. Yeah. And you have some players that will never go to Aston Villa. But there's a place for everyone that is dedicated and good enough. Mm -hmm. um, the, the duration of this showcase is one week. Are you, are you satisfied that that is a good period for your players to showcase themselves? For sure, because... Our players are, are very fit. They, we train mornings and evenings, every day. Gym in the mornings and technical. Where is this that we're looking at now? You're, you're at 24 Hour Fitness, yes. Constant Spring Road. Yes. That's where they do the gym work in the mornings. So they do three days a week in the gym, two days a week, technical skill sets. And in the afternoon, you have team trainings. So they're very fit. So when we, we play four or five games out of the week, and we have a big, big squad, we have a squad of maybe 45, 50 players, that are ready to move. Yeah. So we can we can play a half half a game for a player. You know, you can spot a player in three seconds. I you agree can, with that. Yeah. yeah three that, seconds. That, the eye test. Know. The eye yeah. test. They yeah. call it. Yeah. Yeah. So if if we we can do that and give them the opportunities, then that's what we want. And at the same time, open the door. You know, I'm not God's gift to football. You know, there are other players or coaches out there that may be able to um, make the jump. It's not just Phoenix players that are good in Jamaica, but one of the things I'm going to make sure is that if they're good enough and they deserve to be there, I'm going to push my Phoenix players. Yeah, I want to make the point as well that we have heard um, Caribbean administrators, when they're addressing the quality of their national teams, suggest that the, the, the responsibility of developing players is not with the national association, but with the clubs, and in your case, the the academies. And I say that to say this, that I, I, I want to find out from you whether the JFF has embraced in any way, shape or form or said anything to you about this project. No, they haven't. And um, the reality of it is that Phoenix is a club. It's a club duly registered 
and affiliated to the St. Anne division. Wispo was transferred from that club to Chelsea directly, right. right, on FIFA Connect. So let's just put that aside. So it's not an academy um, only, right? Um, the reality of it is that when you look at a Belgium or a Germany, they bring in the best players that they have um, into the national team training sessions with U15s, U17s, at least two, three days a week to establish their culture, to establish their system, what they want from the players. The players then take it back to their clubs and they practice it and bring it back so you have a, a system in place, yeah. you know? So it is the responsibility of the national team. How can it not be? National Association. National Association. Mm -hmm. It is their responsibility to develop players, to establish, well, just, just... not just develop, but establish what it is that you want okay. from your players. You know, I've never asked you, do you have women also as part of the academy? Yeah, man, Casey Start our big side. So will they be on the showcase? Unfortunately, no. We'll be introduced. There is women right there. <laughs> um, we will have we have some really top talented players. Yeah. And um, I will actually take the time to show a couple of them. Um, one of them where we're actually going to send off the Aston Villa on trial soon. Yeah. Um, her name is Whisper Junior. <laughs> Andre. You named her that. I named her Whisper Junior. She's wicked, man. <laughs> Left foot cutting, everything, the whole Whisper. Yeah, she's just awesome. Yeah. So I spoke to a villa about her this morning. Right. And they're going to send their, you know, at one month's time, the coach of the women's team okay. is coming here to review our girls. And also another coach from, from Villa to, to, to um, work with us on the program. So, we think that it's it's important that we not just mm. look out for the boys. Yeah, the I girls see. are Thank there. You. We have we have about forty players now. In we started about three weeks ago. Wow! And we already have forty players and growing. That's you good. Know, and they're really talented young girls. I'm very excited. You know about it. I'm looking for another bunny show. I'm giving yep. you um, and three dream. months. <laughs> Andrew, she plays for Excelsior. Oh, she does? Yeah. Well, they just the won women. the All-Island title yesterday, yeah, beating man. Homewood by nine goals to one with Xavier Gilbert, the Arnett Garns coach, yeah. coaching Excelsior. Mm. She's awesome. She's, and she's very dedicated. Um, she's at the gym in the mornings, mm. training in the evenings. She trains with the girls. I think I might bring her over with the boys sometimes because yeah. she's that good. Yeah, all right. Well, that, that's how Haley Matthews started. The she started playing with the boys, and now she is one of the best female cricketers in the world. So, there you go. So, yeah, so, so there's there, a lot of benefits from yeah, that. Yeah, there is merit to taking that route. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, Craig, as always, you know, we enjoy having you in studio. I will be following up on the female footballer because I want to see how that one turns out. So we'll talk again soon. Andreen, remember the name. Whisper Andreen. Junior. Andreen, yeah. Whisper Junior. I can't forget that, though, the Whisper Junior part. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're taking a quick break and we'll be right back. <laughs> 